Good afternoon, Charles County. Today is Friday, April 3rd. My name is Jennifer Harris, and I am the Chief of Media Services for Charles County. I am also the designated public information officer for the COVID-19 public health emergency. Just a short time ago, Governor Hogan enacted an executive order that prohibits mortgage lenders from initiating the foreclosure process. This is great news for so many of you who are concerned about how you are going to pay your next mortgage payment. Nearly 70 of Maryland's largest banks, credit unions, mortgage lenders, state agencies, and other financial entities and institutions have agreed to provide additional flexibility to borrowers to lessen the economic impact of COVID-19. Upon contacting your financial services provider, you may be eligible for immediate relief, including a 90-day period of forbearance or deferral for mortgage payments during which time no late fees will be charged and no negative information will be reported to your credit bureaus. Today's executive order also expands protections to prohibit industrial and commercial evictions and also prohibits the repossession of cars, trucks, and mobile homes. I know we can all take a deep sigh of relief with that. I know so many people are still uh, struggling economically with a job loss or a furlough or some other kind of financial challenge if you're a small business owner. So I encourage you to learn more about this information by going online to coronavirus.maryland.gov where they can link you up with all of the additional resources. I'm quite certain that our own economic development department, meetcharlescounty.com, will have updates as soon as they're available as well. Another note uh, from today's press conference with the governor is that at noon this Sunday, he has asked everyone in our state, regardless of your faith, to join together at home or wherever you are in a moment of prayer or reflection and think about those we have lost, those who are sick, and the doctors, nurses, clinicians, health workers, and first responders on the front lines who are working around the clock to fight this pandemic. As, As always, I want to provide you with an update from the Maryland Department of Health about our latest numbers. Here in Charles County, we now have 90 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and sadly, one additional death from this virus. Statewide, there are 2,758 confirmed cases of COVID-19, which is 427 more cases than yesterday. It's important to remember that COVID-19 is a highly contagious disease and it can be easily spread. You can both get it or give it to others, even without showing any symptoms. We remind you of the basic steps you can take to protect yourself and others, which include complying with the governor's stay at home order. Please don't go out unless you have an essential purpose for it, or an essential job to report to. Keep your social distancing of at least six feet from others when you are out, and wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds every time, and use hand sanitizers if you have them available to you. Please avoid touching your face, especially your nose and eyes. If you are sick and are managing mild respiratory symptoms at home, here are some additional steps that you should take. Always cover your cough or sneeze. Get rest. Stay hydrated. As much as possible, stay in a specific room away from other family members and use a separate bathroom if it is available to you. Avoid sharing personal items like dish towels, dishes, bedding, and other items of a personal nature. Clean all surfaces that are touched often, including your countertops, your tabletops, and all doorknobs. Finally, we want you to monitor your symptoms and always call your doctor if your condition worsens. If it's a medical emergency, you should call 911 and notify the dispatcher that you may have COVID-19. We know this is a difficult time for our community and more tough days could be ahead of us. We care deeply about your health and your well-being, and that's why we continue to share information and resources to help everybody get through this. 
Later this weekend, we'll be releasing podcast episodes that will also be posted on YouTube about how you can take care of your mental health from local experts who are in the field here. I encourage you to take a listen and help you or your family members who are maybe suffering from anxiety or depression during this time. I want to shift the conversation to something that has probably been on everyone's minds recently, how you should be shopping for groceries. Every time a new directive is issued that is more restrictive than the last one, we have a run on food and basic supplies. As a reminder, please only buy what your family would need for one week. Buying weeks or months of supplies in advance leads to shortages and makes it difficult for everyone else to take care of themselves. I know it's often uh, feels like you should grab everything on a shelf and that uncertainty drives you to do that. But please know, consumer demand has been exceptionally high, especially for groceries and cleaning supplies and basic health care products. Supply chains haven't been disrupted, but our stores do need to restock. So try to limit your trips to once per week and stick to a shopping list when you go. Finally, remember, it's time to complete your census form if you have not already done so. To date, our response rate Uh, across Maryland is 45.8%. Charles County is exceeding that, achieving an overall response rate of 47.9%. We thank those of you who have already completed and submitted your form online. If you have not, please do so as soon as possible. If you don't have access to the internet where you can access the form at my2020census.gov, you also have the option of calling and filing your form directly with the U.S. Census Bureau at 844-330-2020. That is the news for today. There are many other ways to stay informed. Always get your facts directly from the CDC and the Maryland Department of Health. You may also call our local health department and ask questions there with their advice hotline at 301 609 6717. They also have opened up an additional phone line at 301 609 6777. As always, you can visit our website anytime at charlescountymd.gov to get the latest. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can subscribe to our county's daily e newsletter, sign up for our text and email alerts through the citizen notification system and watch CCG TV on Comcast Channel 95 and Verizon Channel 10. Please subscribe to this podcast and watch us on our YouTube channel where you currently receive these updates every weekday when we have news to report. Thank you for watching and listening and stay healthy.